Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and welcome students in third lesson of second week. In my first two lessons, I gave you detail about microorganisms. What are these microorganisms? Where they found and what are the types of these microorganisms? Okay, students. Now in this lesson now in today's lesson i will give you detail on infection okay what are infections and how they spread and what are the reasons of these infections okay students we already know this thing that microorganisms are found everywhere okay they are found everywhere around uh, around us they live in the air they live in the soil and they live inside plants and animals so they are found everywhere and there are millions and millions of microorganisms around us so students do you know when these harmful microorganisms harmful microorganisms they are called pathogens because they cause diseases so those microorganism which cause diseases they are called pathogens okay disease causing agent because they spread diseases okay students when these harmful microorganisms get into your body okay when they enter in your body they reproduce rapidly reproduce mean they increase their number they increase their number they divide and redivide and they increase their number very quickly okay with speed they increase their number oh, students you know they from where they take food yes they take food from our body cells okay they feed on the body cells and produce poisonous waste that is poisonous waste which is called toxins okay they once they enter in our body they divide and redivide increase their number and then they produce a toxic material in our body which is called toxins as their number increases okay when number of these harmful microorganism increases in our body then more and more cells are damaged because they feed on our cells on our body so they damage our body cells and more toxins are produced and you soon begin to feel ill because in our body these microorganisms are spreading they damage our cells so we become ill this is called an infection okay when microorganisms are enter in our body they feed on our body they feed in our body cells they damage the cells and they affect the body cells then disease is spread and this is called infection sometimes they cause an infection to only some particular part of the body sometimes these microorganisms enter in a specific organs okay we know our body is made up of organs there are different organs eyes nose kidneys heart heart these all are lungs okay lungs these all are the organs there are many organs present in our body okay so if microorganism are enter in a specific part in particular part of the body like your eyes okay some where they enter in your eyes they feed in your eye cells they damage the eye cells so they cause eyes diseases okay if they enter in your lungs if they enter in your lungs they 
feed from they take feed from your lung cell okay they damage the lung cells and cause diseases of lungs as in coronavirus in covid 19 you know why it is dangerous because when it enter in the lungs it will damage your lungs so it is and lungs you know they are very important part of your breathing system okay with the help of lungs we breathe okay when these lungs will damage we, it is difficult to breathe okay so it will damage our lungs and we can not able to breathe breathing is important for your life so when they damage your lungs so breathing system will destroy sometimes they might affect the whole body causing fever okay sometimes these microorganism affect your whole body and you feel fever our body you know our body tries to fight these germs our body have body has its own army okay it fight against these germs if your immunity is strong if you are taking the proper food okay a balanced food a food in which all nutrients are present which is useful for your health if you are healthy taking proper food then when when these microorganism enter in your body your body will fight against these germs because your body has power power then they defeat these germs so how our body how our body fight with them we know in our body there are blood okay and in blood there are cells which are white blood cells red blood cells and platelets white blood cells are called the army of our body okay so we fight against these germs with the help of white blood cells so sometimes if these germs are strong okay if they affect our uh, our more parts and we do not have a power to fight with them then we use medicines which is called antibiotics okay you know their names what are antibiotics antibiotics are the medicines which fight against these diseases okay they destroy these germs to save us and they kill the germs okay okay students it is infection how infection spread when microorganisms enter in our body when they enter in body they produce toxic material which is called toxin okay they damage our body cells and our body will become ill sometime we fight with the help of our immunity our defense system but when we are not uh, not able to fight with them our body is weak then we take medicines to fight against these germs okay students thank you in next class i will tell you how these germs enter in our body okay how we are affected by these germs thank you